Hi guys, today we're going to talk about heat. And you will be encountering a lot of this when you're studying thermodynamics, physical chemistry, and unit operations. So therefore, it is really important na maintindihan natin yung concept ng heat before we proceed further sa ating mga discussions. So let us begin by understanding ano ba tong tinatawag nating heat. Heat is defined as the form of energy that is transferred between two systems or a system and its surroundings by virtue of its temperature difference. So therefore, based from our definition, an energy interaction is heat only if it takes place because of a temperature difference. There cannot be any heat transfer between two systems that are at the same temperature. Okay, so as you can see dito sa ating definition, yung heat natin is a form of energy that is transferred between two systems. And it can only happen if there is a difference in temperature. So therefore, wala tayong pag-uusapang heat transfer if there is no difference in temperature. So let us try to visualize that. So let's say we have a hot liquid in here and a cold liquid on the right side. If you look closer dito sa ating hot liquid, makikita natin ang kanilang particles that are moving really fast. Kapag mataas ang kanyang temperature, makikita natin ang mga particles na mabibilis na gumagalaw. While kapag malamig naman ang ating substance, makikita natin that our particles are moving slower. Now, ano yung mangyayari kapag pinagdikit natin sila or when they have contact? So, let's say this is the particles no, ng hot and cold substance natin. So, what will happen is that there will be collision between our particles. And when that happens, itong ating particles that are moving fast will become cool because they will start to lose energy. At dito naman sa ating mas malamig na substance, it will become warm because they are absorbing energy. So, this collision will continue until they reach equilibrium. Okay? So, nakakaroon tayo dito ng transfer ng energy. And that transfer of energy is yung tinatawag nga nating heat. So, based from our example, ano yung nakita yung direction ng ating heat? Okay? We could see that the heat flows from higher temperature going to the lower temperature. Okay, this is a basic universal knowledge na dapat matandaan natin. Heat always flow from a region of high temperature to a region of lower temperature. So, nakita ninyo dito, no, nagkaroon tayo ng heat transfer because our two substances here has different temperature. Meron tayong hot liquid at meron tayong cold liquid. So, therefore, we could say that temperature is the driving force for the transfer of energy as heat. And the rate of heat transfer from one body to another is proportional to the temperature difference between the two bodies. Which means that mas mataas ang ating rate of heat transfer kapag mas malaki yung ating temperature difference. Similarly, when there is no temperature difference, there is no heat transfer. So, nakita natin dito yung difference ng temperature sa heat. So, dalawa lang naman ang dapat nating tandaan. When we talk about temperature, we mean the average kinetic energy ng ating substance. While when we talk about heat, we are talking about the flow of kinetic energy. Now, in thermodynamic sense, heat is never regarded as being stored within the body. Well, katulad ito ng work. It exists only as energy in transit from one body to another. So, let's say an energy in a form of heat is added to the body. It is not stored as heat but as kinetic and potential energy of the atoms and molecules making up the body. So, it is important to take note of that. When a heat is added on the body, it will not be stored in the body in a form of heat energy but rather, it will be stored in a form of kinetic and potential energy. Now, when we are talking about heat, meron tayong mga maikitang iba't ibang klase ng heat. Okay, so let us talk about sensible heat. Sensible heat is the amount of heat required to change the temperature without a change in state of the substance. At meron din tayong tinatawag na latent heat in which it is the amount of heat required to change the state and pace of the substance without a change in temperature. So to understand that, pag-usapan muna uli natin 
yung mga changes in paces ng ating mga substances. So, ang pinakamadaling example dyan is yung ating water because nalaman na natin to sa ating basic chemistry courses. No? So, we have three paces of water here. We have solid, liquid, and gas. So, in changing from solid to liquid phase, we call that fusion. And the change from liquid to gas, we call that vaporization. So, going back, from gas to liquid state, we call that condensation. And from liquid to solid phase, we call that solidification. Okay, so let us try to explain further yung sensible and Latin heat. So, let's say we have a thermometer here and water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius and it boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So, let's say nandito tayo ngayon sa 37 degrees Celsius which is the normal body temperature. Now, we want to heat our water from 37 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. So, the energy that we will be needing in changing the temperature of our liquid water from 37 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius is what we call sensible heat. Okay, so we just want to heat up our water from 37 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius without changing its pace. Now, if you continue heating our water in this state, you will see that the water will start to vaporize. Okay, so nangyayari na yung vaporization sa ating process. So the heat that we'll be needing to change the pace of our water from liquid to vapor pace is what we call latent heat. So the temperature will remain one at 100 degrees Celsius while our liquid water starts to vaporize. So yung energy na kakailanganin natin to change the pace of our water from liquid to gaseous pace Yung energy na yun ay tinatawag nating latent heat. Alright, so that's the basic about heat that we will be needing when we are studying thermodynamics and physical chemistry. And we will be talking a lot of this subject as we go on in our topics. Okay, pinakita lang natin sa inyo yung overview about heat because it's really important na maintindihan natin to before we proceed in studying thermodynamics and physical chemistry. Because you might get confused what is the difference between heat and temperature. Okay, so we will be talking a lot about this in the future. But this is all for now. Thank you very much and have a nice day. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ya-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, P6 at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.